As temperatures continue to drop, many homeless people will be searching for a place to get warm. And tonight, a local group is conducting its annual Everyone Counts campaign to get a more accurate number of how many people are staying on the streets and in shelters. Color 10 Shadiah Tomlin joins us live from Grace United Church in Springfield, which is one of many places helping people this winter. Shadiah? Yeah, my uh, Stephen Bailey um, here at Grace United Church. They had people lined up here around 5:30, waiting to get a hot meal and also sign up for shelter for tonight. They're helping people in need in the community. Life can be easy and life can be hard. For DeAndre Johnson, when the weather turns cold, he needs a place to warm up for the day. And after the snowfall we had this week. He says finding a place was a struggle. My conditions yesterday was uh, like, where am I going to go? I don't know where to go. Therefore, I, I kind of did some resources myself as action people around as sort of kind of living like me. Today, his next stop is a place where he can get a meal and find shelter for the night. It, it's another spot where we go eat at and they call it Grace Baptist or Methodist Church. And um, we go there to eat. And, that, and sometimes that's when the shelters come to pick you up to go to a, a place to sleep. Grace Unite Church is one of the local shelters tonight working with the Everyone Count campaign, conducting a count on the homeless population here in Springfield. We have our point in time count, um, which is a um, federal mandate from the um, U.S. Department of Ho Housing and Urban Development, or HUD. It is meant to kind of provide a snapshot of the unsheltered individuals we have with our within our continuum of care. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development reported that most states have seen their homeless population rise since 2019. But in 2022, Springfield's unsheltered homeless population decreased by 25 percent. Still, for many, they're needing shelter with this winter weather. At times, it is hard, definitely when it's not below 32, and then with this new law they just passed recently. And many local shelters are full but understaffed. Volunteers is always a need that we have at the crisis cold weather shelters. Luckily, you know, our crisis cold weather um, shelters are made up of phenomenal church communities. A lot of these shelters are planning to stay open, even if temperatures are a little above 32 degrees, um, to help people out in the community. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Shadiah Tomlin, Ozarks First.